Good morning, Kenora. I am your host, Chris Jones, solo today. So we have some fun to talk about today, I think, in terms of outside and the weather. So we're going to get right into it because I am solo, uh, which is better for the audience because everyone else just drags me down a little bit. So we'll just cruise along here, making Jordan spit his coffee out through his nose, which is good on the Monday. So as you can tell, Monday morning, this is not pleasant. Um, but I'm thinking that Monday gets a bad rap. That's kind of what I, I woke up this morning and decided that Monday, because everyone says Monday and they're sluggish and you don't want to go to work, but really, let's talk about the true weekday villain. It's called Sunday. Because on the list of things, Sunday yesterday was terrible. It was really bad. And the entire day that I was sitting there thinking about Sunday, I'm getting stuff done around the house and doing things like this. And, and I only thought about, man, I want Monday to come so I can get rid of this dang Sunday. So I'm kind of stoked for Monday. Monday's the fresh of the week, it's great. And Sunday, Sunday, all you do think about all day Sunday is having to go back to work. So I, I think it's Sunday's fault. So, and today's actually gonna be a nicer day. It's gonna be uh, plus five today with about 60% chance of rain. Getting into the afternoon, still plus six. Evening, not so good. It's gonna be four. And then overnight, zero. Yes, and they say it's gonna feel like minus six, but I don't know about that. So it's zero. And just to tell you how, how actually terrible Sunday was, Red Lake near Falls got snow. Yeah, exactly. That's, uh, I was cruising through my peeps on Facebook, and one of my friends actually said it was snowing, which, thank goodness we live here. So we have to stave this off for maybe another week. So it's, it's going to be okay. And then the rest of the week looks not too bad. I mean, pretty much consistent. It's going to be four tomorrow, five on Wednesday, eight on Thursday, and 12 on Friday. So that's kind of, you know, we're looking forward to uh, a not a bad little, uh, little Friday. So it's not so bad. So I don't know what you folks did on your weekend, but I, um, I did a lot of nostalgic reminiscing uh, about movies. I know on Friday we talked about Footloose coming out. And everyone saw it, of course, because I, uh, I'm a bit of a purist. And I don't believe that certain things should be remade, and Footloose is one of them. And then when I was reading on the internet, Top Gun. Everybody remembers Top Gun? See, Jordan remembers Top Gun. Susan, I think Susan remembers Top Gun. They're doing a sequel. Top Gun 2. Why, I do not know. It's kind of a crime against Hollywood nature. But they're doing it. So I'm a little, uh, I'm a little hurt by that, and I just want to make a statement now that something should be left alone. You shouldn't do prequels in Hollywood, and you definitely shouldn't remake things that are more than 20 years old. The day they remake Breakfast Club, I'm sorry, I'm driving to Hollywood. That's, you can't, I mean, can, can anybody see Stifler? Stifler, really, I mean, they'd, they'd probably cast him as Judd Nelson's character, Bender. On for, you, they can't, you can't do it. So there's movies like that that I really, I'm partial to, and you, you cannot redo them. But needless to say, Footloose took second at the box office this weekend. They beat the thing. And uh, yeah, Real Steel beat it by about 100,000 bucks. So, you know, you get some young kids, put them on the show, make them dance. Eh, what are you going to do? So, moving on. Uh, we've got a couple of things to talk about here uh, locally, local news. So the first thing is Fall Harvest at Rat Portage. I would try it the other way, but I would just insult somebody horribly. I know it's Onigaming, First Nation. So, uh, October 17th to the 20th. There's a, on Powell Island, 9.30 a.m. to 2.30 daily. They're going to have commercial fishing, fish filleting, teepee setup, fish smoking, arts and crafts, bannock making, wild rice, duck deer. Yeah, so it's going to be kind of a, it's gonna be a really good time. The educational manager, Jason Stevens, you can probably give him a jingle for more information, uh, 548 So that, he's the coordinator. Go check that out. It's not on for the next three days. A little chilly, but what are you going to do? So, uh, what else do we got going on here? I've been trying to convince Jordan to come on camera all morning, but he won't. It's just one of those things. Oh, and I actually do want to say one thing. Um, got to thank, I'm going to publicly thank Susan. So, just, why? Because you're the backbone. Susan, it's me and you today. So, I need somebody to talk to. So, Susan's, uh, Susan's the other, uh, she's a co-host today. She's not just on the scene. So, if you, if you see her out and about today or all week, just thank her. Just say, great job. You made Chris look amazing. Thanks, Susan. See? You can do that, too. Um, alrighty. Sorry, blinded by the lights. Here we go. Uh, phone scam in the Rainy River District. Ontario Police uh, would like to remind the public we're uh, aware of telephone scams affecting the District of Rainy River. Recently, individuals have received phone calls. The caller uh, are similar to the emergency or grandparent scam. 
that has occurred in the past throughout Canada. Typical scenario is a grandparent receives a phone call from a, not, from a con artist claiming to be one of her grandchildren. Uh, the caller goes in to say that they are in some kind of trouble and need some money immediately. Typically, the claim has been a car accident, uh, trouble returning from a foreign country, they need bail. Locally, a male suspect caller is identifying himself as being from Quebec area with a 514 area code number. The victim is asking to wire about 17,500 through Western Union. So if you hear of any of these things, and these things, I, they happen fairly regularly, I would imagine, that uh, just call the OPP if you hear of this. You can also check out uh, phonebusters.com. And if you have any of that, um, check there, and you can contact Constable Ann McCoy uh, at the Community Services Officer, Media Relations at the Rainy River District OPP Detachment, and that number is 807-274-3322, extension 3455. All righty, so that's it. And then, talk about some famous birthdays. I think we got, uh, keeping this is, this is kind of nice. We have here a lot of pe nice people working on the show, and they come in and make my job easy. I just uh, sit here and look pretty. And just rattle off information. It's it's actually really nice. So, <laughs> wow! Don't thank Susan Lemay today. She's quite quite mean, actually. She just said I'm not pretty, and that's all I have going for me. <laughs> it's true. Hang on. Ooh. I was actually gonna uh, get a meter stick, print out Jack's face, and just have it stand up here like this is a cowboy hat on, and yell yeehaw once in a while to make myself feel and the viewers feel a little more comfortable. I think we're all missing the big lug. So here we go. So some nat um, famous birthdays. Evil Knievel. That guy is awesome. His birthday, he was born uh, Robert Craig, 1938 today. I remember as a kid watching Evil Knievel and being blown away. Who in their right mind gets on a motorcycle and then jumps over like a 15 cars through flaming hoops and all that kind of That's absolutely fantastic. I was, I was absolutely stoked as a kid. And now the, the, the funny thing is now, now when you're watching um, the interweb or famous people who are rich and famous doing really, really dumb things in golf carts, it's not so cool anymore for me. I was watching, um, they just did another movie, Jackass, and people are telling me that hey, you have to watch this. Big foam hands hitting people in heads and doing really dumb things, and I can't do it. I mean, this makes, Evil Knievel will be spinning in his grave. I mean, I guess he's a pioneer of it, but I mean, really? He had talent. I mean, Dropping off a roof in a kiddie pool full of jello, not so talented. <laughs> kind of dumb. So what else we got here? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, Eminem. Everyone, everyone's favorite. White rapper. Was born in 1972. So yay, Eminem. Thank you for poisoning the world. Uh, what else we got here? Musical history. 1967, the musical Hair premiered. It's not too bad. And 1962, the Beatles appeared their first uh, first appeared in Great Britain's Grenada Television Network. So on that note, let's go for a quick break. And when we get back, ah, I see, throwing Sue off. She wasn't even ready for it. Yeah. Oh, maybe she was. So we're going to come back. Uh, we're going to talk about our little contest here. And there can be a couple things coming up in the week. Um, this is a good time for you to get a coffee. Be right back.